Hello, welcome to Punk Rock Bowling 2020 Internet Edition. We are Playboy Man Baby in a weird form for your weird reality. This is a song called High End Condos. When we moved back to the suburbs, we never thought you'd make this shitty place so cool. But now I'm moving back, yeah, we're coming back, we're here to take it away from you. We're cleaning up the streets, wouldn't you agree? Everything you love will be made boring or die And if we call it progress, no one will ask why Cause we need more high-end condos, high-end condos Now what we need some more high-end condos High-end condos, high-end condos Now what we need some more high-end condos goes out to the economy. What was once interesting is now a tool for marketing. Come on downtown, it's as safe as it can be. And all the new restaurants have 35 TVs. And we can finally watch our UFC in peace. Cause we need more high-end condos, high-end condos. Now what we need some more high-end condos, high-end condos, high-end condos. Now what we need some more high-end condos, high-end condos, high-end condos. Now what we need some more high-end condos, high-end condos, high-end condos. Now what we need some more high-end housing market's rising and it's never gonna stop and this real estate bubble yeah it's never gonna pop Whew. staring into the lifeless circle that is the uh, camera lens is so much better than being at a concert with a bunch of people i'm just glad that we can do this safely though here's another song it's called i love myself and there's a lot of that going on here as we spend more time alone <laughs> well if i'm being honest i don't care about anybody but myself myself and i won't talk about anything or other person but myself Myself. Yeah, I'll try and fix some interest. Act like I give a damn. But the book of folks I care about, well, it's me, and that's the end. I love myself. 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 Woo, I love myself. I love myself. Myself. Ain't no one else. I love myself. I love myself. Myself. Ain't no one else. I love myself. Woke up in the morning and was happiest to see the person in the mirror. Well, that's my favorite person, me. I live a life with interest that never waver once. And it'll make a difference if I violate your trust. Yeah, you might think I'm selfish, and I might agree with you. But I'll never waste my time on things that help other people too, because I love myself. 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 Who I love myself, I love myself, myself, and no one else. I love myself. Ooh, I love myself, myself, and no one else. I love myself. Na 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 narcissist. Say what you want. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can say what you please. I don't care what you're talking about. If what you're talking about is me, yeah, you can say what you want. Yeah, you can say what you please. I don't care what you're talking about. If what you're talking about is me, yeah, you can say what you want. Yeah, you can say what you please. I don't care what you're talking about. If what you're Go fuck yourself. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. We got one more song. This one's dedicated to the 20% of America that's currently unemployed. One, two. We're Playboy one, Man, two, baby. a churro the next band's on next man whoo festival season yeah fuck PRB 
Yeah. <laughs> 
Hello, baby. Chilla Biafra here, along with a couple of my peeps who also participated at punk rock bowling with Guantanamo School of Medicine. This is our drummer, Jason Willer. Hello. This is our sound wizard and our secret weapon, Kurt Schlegel. And Hello. we are interrupting our recording session for the new album, T T Tea Party Revenge Porn, to do this just for you. Okay, who's going first? You. I know, you guys are. Well, otherwise they'll never get to you. All, all right, right, Kurt. Uh, my, <clears throat> my favorite memory of pump rock bowling was actually just being there. It was such a great, fun experience. Uh, the first time we played, we played with Turbo Negro, Refused, Murder City Devils, fantastic Bill on the big stage, and it was just so much fun. And uh, a funny little hiccup, uh, the, uh, the, on the tech end, the, the house techs forgot to soft patch my console, so when the band started, the guitars were in vocal channels and loud as fuck, and uh, just tore everybody's head off as, as, as we scrambled to try and fix the, uh, fix the problem. It was great fun. Great experience. Can't wait to do it again. And then a year later, we were brought in at the last minute to do the club show the night before all the big stuff happened. And Jason was, what, second gig in the band and you're thrown into this? Second gig in the band. And uh, yeah, Rody was uh, really drunk that night and decided he was going to uh, play drums with me on stage. Rody is our Rody <laughs> who also is the front man for Kicker. Something everyone should experience. <laughs> and I guess our bass player uh, uh, gave him a little bit of a nudge with his foot and knocked him down <laughs> on stage, which was... Uh, I thought he was, you knocked him clear off the stage. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I remember um, I was drunk at the end myself, and I guess I slept, walked in the hotel and got locked out of the room in my underwear. And I was roommates with Rody, so I had to wake the, the guy up. You actually succeeded? <laughs> you actually woke him up? Uh, it was an, I just remember being very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was that second time, I had my girlfriend Anne-Marie with me, and we found out in the middle of all the other cool stuff going on, who is booked into the hotel itself for all the other guests who aren't part of Pro Clock Bowling, but Eric Burden. Yes, that Eric Burden, one of my favorite singers of all time. I grew up with the lead singer of The Animals who gave us House of the Rising Sun and It's My Life and I'll Do What I Want and uh, things like that. And I've covered two of his songs, actually. Uh, we Gotta Get Out of This Place with DOA and uh, House of the Rising Sun with New Orleans Ranch and Soul All-Stars and who knows, more to come. I mean, when 
little bit pre-punk, I had this pizza delivery job as a zit encrusted hippie in Boulder, Colorado, and still had this Walder Mitty thing of wanting to be a rock singer. And so, since I was like, oh yeah, I'm really good at imitating my teachers and Howard Cosell and Nixon, what if I drove around while I'm delivering pizzas and imitate something I like, like all these singers, and see if I can get a voice for myself, because I'm the one people say, ooh, it's weird voice in high school. And I realized that was a weapon after hearing Peter Ivers, but got Eric Burden down really quick and just felt how soulful he was, and got Jim Morrison and Iggy, and even had Robert Plant before I burned him up smoking too much weed at the time. Is the music better off? You decide. So this was special, because I'd seen him a little bit before in an Indian casino and you know in Michigan 50 yards away and still was happy that the guy could just do it. But this time, he came out, our tour manager Paul Sprague somehow carved open two seats at the uh, uh, sold out show, and he had a much more inventive band this time. They started with Spill the Wine, his hit with War, some of the psychedelic stuff from the later animals, Sky Pilot and, uh, and others. And that man, well into his 70s, has not lost his voice at all. And is one of the deepest, bluesiest, soulful singers you will ever hear in your life, still. When he, in the middle of the set, did a totally a cappella solo cover of a Lead Belly song, it slayed the whole room. So by the, when the show was over, Anne-Marie and I just looked at each other and we were both holding back tears, just thinking, you know, we just saw one of the greatest singers who ever lived. There wouldn't be any punk without him. Hey there, and thanks for tuning in to PRB 2020 Lock In and Strip Down. I am Callie Ann from the band Bad Waitress in Toronto, Ontario. And unfortunately my band and I can't be together, so I wrote a song about how we never went to Las Vegas. Uh, so here it is and hope you enjoy. Making friends with punk babes, smoking up a cool blaze, trying to feel your heartbeat. 